Hi, this is Jack Ashburn of 359 News. Today we talk about Islamophobia in relation to United States politics. To offer an outside perspective, we speak with foreign international students. My name is Maytham Al-Faleti. I'm a senior chemical engineering student in the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. My name is uh, Asim Al-Zahari, originally pronounced as Asim Al-Zahari. I'm a junior from Oman and um, my major is construction management. My name is al Mathir Al-Kindi. I'm a student here at UNL. I've been here for four years and uh, I'm studying geology. My name is Al-Mughayri. I'm Sultan Oman. I'm a student in the third year in the university. I'm studying the chemistry and Islam is the major religion in Oman. It's practiced by every Omani. It's a part of our tradition, culture, and it has affected positively on the uh, manners of the people, of the everyday life of the people. It's a religion of moderation in every aspect of the Omani life. People think all we talk about in masjids is politics. But in reality, it's just we go there, we pray once in, um, in a group where the Imam leads the prayer, he stands in front, and the others just follow. We're not all, all the time, we don't have the Muslim mentality all the time. We don't live like, I'm doing this, Muslim, Muslim, Islam, Islam. Once you see, once they try it, like, in face to face, when they meet Muslims, Muslim, Muslim guys, Muslim girls, Muslim ladies, Muslim families, they'll find out what Muslims really represent. Thank God at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, or in Nebraska as a whole, people are very social and are at peace with citizens of the world. From my personal experience, I haven't experienced any discrimination or racism, and I'm very happy it's been that way. But speaking in general, airports carry certain procedures that they claim are routine that apply to all. But some of my friends have been asked to step aside and go through security inspection for no apparent reason. Whereas most people don't go through them, at least not randomly. ISIS doesn't have to do anything with Islam. We don't think ISIS is an Islamic organization. They do that, I think, to make Islam look bad in front of other people. Islam isn't like that. Islam is a deen of peace. Even the word Islam comes from peace. If you see, if you look at ISIS, if you see the videos, the news, you see psychopaths, you see people who are mentally ill, yelling, screaming all the time. You can see it in their eyes. They're, they're just, they lost their minds. They don't even know what Islam is. If you ask them any question about their faith, they won't answer. If you read a verse from the Bible, they th they'll think it's from the Quran. So the media has, picked, has been picturing Muslims as being radical and being, uh, being kind of barbaric and being kind of anti-West. So would it be fair and just to simply ban and cut out a whole religion or a whole ethnic group just because of the actions of some fanatics? Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. And so there is Trump who actually called for a major ban of Muslim immigrants because of some few actions. And those few actions might have, are actually a few in proportion to, to other actions that were actually done by, by non-Muslims. Those immigrants actually fled from violent actions themselves. Because from these immigrants, a very exceptional few that may actually engage in violent acts. And even those themselves will actually be filtered in their immigration process. So for a religion that has like a billion people, which is kind of one-sixth or more than a billion people, that's kind of, that is one-sixth of the world population, it's very normal to find both good and bad natures as in any other religion or any other ethnicity. The issue of 
Islamophobia is that there should be like truthful awareness both from the media and from the side of Muslims themselves. We just received some insight on Islamophobia in the United States. I'm Jack Ashburn and this is 359 News.